I'm sorry you guys relied on only one method of dealing damage to the clan boss and now can no longer kill the clan boss. <laughs> That's backhanded, by the way. It's almost as if there was absolutely no way for anybody in the game, free to play or not, to kill the demon lord before the arrival of Wixwell. Yeah. Your clan is in peril and in need of a new hope. Maybe some kind of older Jedi can help you. A Deadwood Jedi. <laughs> oh, God damn. You know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's just, it's just a weird thing. Like, I, I should feel badly because I, I put in the work? It doesn't make any sense to me. This guy's clan no longer kills clan boss. Thanks to the shield changes, my clan can no longer kill the clan boss, which will tank progression for 85% of our members. Hard hitters would previously be able to down the earlier stages to help our newer players get more chests, but now they have to invest all keys into Ultra Nightmare. So with this first part, um, newer players, you kind of have to decide. If you're running a clan, you need to decide what kind of community you want to have within your clan, right? Are you a clan of mostly end gamers or are you a clan of mostly new players or is it like half and half you know you can't really do that i don't see a problem with having a few new members in a mostly predominantly end game clan but when it becomes 50 50 this is part of the problem right if you can't kill clan boss and all of your end gamers have to hit unm and the guys at the bottom can't do it well i mean that's where the the problem lies they should be in a clan that is appropriate for their level right and that's just, you know, that's just my personal opinion. You guys might agree with it or disagree with it, but in my experience, that's the way that it should be. Otherwise, you're holding the guys who are at the top or further along in the game back, or you're not able to completely down the clan boss in a way that you need to do it for the level that you need to do it. And so you're missing out on those double rewards there. So, you know, that that's kind of where like you can't have it both ways. So uh, he says, this is a hard blow for us as a free-to-play casual community, okay? So if you're free-to-play casual, that's totally fine. If you don't want to take the game seriously, there's nothing wrong uh, with, you know, just doing whatever you want to do. But you have to really define what does free-to-play casual mean to you, right? Because if you're talking about being a casual player, to me, a casual player is somebody who doesn't really care about what's going on. You kind of just do whatever you're doing and you're kind of just going with the flow of things, not really stressing about it, treating it as a game. If you're just calling yourself casual, but you're stressing about doing clan boss, you know what I mean? There's, I understand there's different levels to this shit, but at the same time, you have to really define, clearly define for yourself as an individual, for your account, what you decide is casual, right? I would like to add to this post, as some people are clearly offended by it, which is very weird because Clan Boss is a totally non-competitive game mode, and as with every game that's been around for a while, power creep is to be expected. Just because you had to struggle for a century to get Clan Boss down doesn't mean that five years down the line, it is some form of an unfair advantage that new players get an easier strat to help them progress. So let me, let me give you my thoughts on this line here. I understand where he's coming from because yeah, people say this. People say this all the time, I've said this before, but I've said it with, with different intent, right? A lot of people have said, oh, I had to learn the hard way or I had to do the, the traditional clan boss team, uh, whatever you wanna call it, like I had to learn how to figure out what mechanics are important, the synergies for teams and which debuffs and how many debuffs and how to perfectly place the debuffs as well as the buffs that my characters need so that we can do all the damage that we need and the masteries and everything that involves doing a traditional clan boss team the way that Polarium intended us to play it. I get that. I understand where you guys are coming from because I'm on that side too. Like, oh, I, I had to learn this shit. So if I, but but my, my thought is a little bit different. My thought isn't, hey, it's unfair that I had to struggle and you guys don't have to struggle. My thought process is, hey, I struggled and I learned how to do this. And I think it would behoove you and benefit you long-term to learn how to do the same thing, right? As a player, you want to learn how to play the game. And again, if, if you already know the mechanics and you know how to do things, then yeah, totally fine. There's nothing wrong with doing a cheese team. As long as you aren't asking questions later, like, oh, how do I build this champion? Or how do I do this? But then again, it circles all the way back to, are you a casual player or are you trying to become a little bit more involved in the game? Because you can't call yourself casual and then get mad about not knowing uh, clan boss, you know what I mean? So that's my thought process, or that's my my opinion when it comes to that. I'm way ahead of the rest of my clan in player power and experience being able to essentially two key the entire 1 billion health pool, which allowed me to help my clan of new players. So as I've touched on before, 
doing the the clan boss for them, holding their hand through this entire process and doing it for them, it becomes an issue because now these guys don't know what to do and now they're not able to get the rewards. So you see what I mean, what I'm, what I'm talking about here? I'm not saying that the Wixpo team nerf was uncalled for, but I failed to see how it needed to be balanced in such an old and outdated content as clan boss. It sucks not being able to help with the newbies, with hard and brutal CB. Again, you, you just can't have it both ways. My Wixwell team did about the same damage it always does. Mine too, I think the more developed teams have absorbed the nerf. My Wixwell team was doing 390 to 40 million on uh, UNM pre-patch, 120 post. Downvote all you want, but don't piss on my leg and tell me it's rain. I don't understand. This guy is still one king ultra nightmare using the Wixwell thing. I mean, dude, I mean just look at it. <laughs> Dear God, I noticed Mine's still one keys no matter what, but my damage will decrease and increase significantly between keys, still hovering between the 150 to 2 million range across six keys, two accounts, but not getting those 350 big spikes anymore. Man, you guys are rough, but obviously been playing a while like myself. I understand 100% what the OP is saying. First, my account crushes pretty much everything, but I run a clan with no restrictions. We have levels of all players. I'd say one third don't play Hydra before or will now and their clan boss teams just got crushed. Stop thinking of just the way you play or how good your clan is when a lot of one year or less players just got hammered. This is on the raid staff, not the players. You should realize that most of the people who visit this forum have already self-selected into the upper tier of players. I'm sure there are many players who just play the game and don't search out guides, videos, or forums, just like other online games. I got up to level 25 in raid without visiting a single website before I started to take it seriously. This was a big change for many users. Some people will quit, some will adjust. I've been playing for a couple years now and my clan boss team lost, uh, lost about 40% overall damage, but I still trounced it for 200 million. People have had a hard time seeing outside that point of view, sometimes unfortunately. The Wixwell change has left a bad taste in my mouth for this game and made it highly unlikely I will ever spend money again in raid. I thought about quitting as I could use the time back, but I'll just play without spending for now. Yeah, I get that. Sadly, playing this game is like being in an abusive relationship and many players are so accustomed to being treated badly that they actually get off on it when people who aren't them are the victims. <laughs> I was thinking the other day, like, sometimes when shit's so bad in raid, all you gotta, all you can do is just, is just kind of like laugh. Uh, especially if you've been playing for like five plus years. Uh, you, you just, you just kind of sit there and laugh at all the shit going down. Like, like I get it, you know, be mad and whatever, but sometimes you just get to a point where you're like, well, fucking shit sucks, dude. <laughs> And you just, you know, take a take a shot of whiskey and, and, you know, go about your day. Anyway, working as intended from Polarium's viewpoint. Cut my CB damage in half, but still one key. But this did exactly what they planned to do. It's cutting rewards on CB and Hydra for people that don't spend. Yeah. I'm sorry you guys relied on only one method of dealing damage to the clan boss and now can no longer kill the clan boss. Dish. That's backhanded, by the way. It's almost as if there was absolutely no way for anybody in the game, free to play or not, to kill the demon lord before the arrival of Wixwell. Yeah. Your clan is in peril and in need of a new hope. Maybe some kind of older Jedi can help you. A Deadwood Jedi. <laughs> oh, god damn. Not gonna lie, you had me there. You had me ready to dislike in the first half. <laughs> <laughs> oh god but i mean yeah there, there was there's there's been other methods to cheese the clan boss team and there's obviously traditional ways to to go about doing it uh, the traditional ways are harder to one key ultra nightmare but um you know they're still there uh two keying ultra nightmare is a little bit more realistic with a traditional team so you know and when i say trad team i mean things that aren't uh, based off of unkillable or block damage. That's what I'm saying. Wixpool has only been around for a short time. It's wild to me that so many people are so vocal about not being able to clear content because of this shield nerf. I built my first unkillable team nearly four years ago. Simple Rosh card and Warcaster team. Couldn't get it to one key UNM but from the rip, but I built it up as soon as I got better gear and evolved the team into the Batman Forever team. Everybody acts like they deserve to get all the rewards while putting in minimal effort. This game is the easiest it's ever been right now. Hmm. I'm just a little bit bewildered that people are thinking being able to almost solo clan boss due to having a single champion is considered normal. The moment I realized I could just throw random team together without speed tuning, regearing, no masters and somehow do 300 million damage on UNM, I knew it possibly couldn't be intended. We had infinite shield teams before Brogni, but the team was hard to put together and needed really strong gear. 
Wixwell made it so trivial and I thought I wasn't Wixwell made it so trivial and I thought it wasn't intended the entire time. I was surprised it took them this long to fix. I built a myth food team after spending a long time carefully building and speed tuning each champion that only gave 90 million damage with my best efforts. This fact that Wixwell can effortlessly almost kill you in M clan boss is not normal. For real, these players have it so good, I remember scraping together what I could for a bare bones unkillable team. Never had Vulk, Maneater, any typical teams, just had one warcaster, and somehow got him fast enough to work. I outputted this because because it could be a significant issue. A lot of players and clans haven't been playing for four plus years like mine has. Yeah, true. I don't know. It, it's kind of it's kind of a weird thing, right? I feel like a lot of players, a lot of people comment and say shit like that. Like, oh, well, I haven't been playing for five plus years. A and I'm just like, okay, I I'm sorry that I played for five plus years and invested a lot of my, you know, resources into something that I enjoyed. Like, sorry that, uh, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just a weird thing. Like, I, I should feel badly because I I put in the work. It doesn't make any sense to me. And they haven't had everybody's Demon Lord uh, keys sorted before the Wixbill teams were a thing. They're going to be hurting for resources for a minute. Here's an opportunity for content creators to give that segment of the community a few refresher videos on building some old unkillable comps. Would be a good time for Deadwood Jedi to hop back on YouTube and promote his work again. Or, you guys now hurting for UNM teams can search him up or build different champions new with his speed tunes. True. Hey, what happened to Deadwood? I don't see him anymore. Free to play, uh, free to play are not customers; they're just users. Take out all free to play and see how long the game lasts. With most players, there's no point to be in a clan not downing the bosses you can one key. Surprise! The people who were used to two chests from hard don't just leave now. This is so detrimental to the game and has made the game worse for all of us. Maybe that's a good thing that it'll be a lot easier now for people to quit the game forever and never return. I find it funny how people are saying you should have something else to build a team with or that team is so easy to build. These people are the elitist morons. First of all, if we could build another team with unblockable or unkillable setups, don't you think we would have done that already? I mean, for fuck's sake, it took me two plus years to pull a... M yeah, I get this. A Maneater or a Demitha. Well, after I got Wixwell. I was going to build one of those teams, but guess what? The stats are insane. Demitha needs 270-odd speed, where are these people coming up with the facts that we're all loaded with such stat intensive gear? What these people are saying is stupid. These people act like this team could be thrown together with bad gear. Just because you have the crazy gear lying around to slap on and make work doesn't mean that everybody does. Stop it with the nonsense. This community, man, sometimes the brain rot of all the stupid spending really shows its ugly head. Sorry that you continue to bang your heads against the wall, possibly spending thousands of dollars to get whatever team you build working. That's no one else's problem but your own. The fact that anybody would be so stupid to actually have a problem with something that doesn't affect them in the slightest is the weirdest shit. Like, we didn't spend a ton of resources getting this champ. Not only that, everyone was crying and whining because when it was first tested, Wix is bad. He turns out not to be useless. Now people have a fucking problem with it because uh, someone is able to hit UNM clan boss. Fuck out of here. Fuck Polarium. I get what this guy is saying, but at the same time, bro, why are you so pressed though? Why are you so mad? Why are you so mad, dude? Calm down. Daddy chill, this ain't you. Relax, bruh. But yeah, I think this is mostly directed towards the people who are, you know, basically talking the shit, saying, hey, just do this, just do that, blah, 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 blah. It's just kind of weird. If you even have an opinion, somebody's going to disagree with it or not like it. So, uh, you know, sometimes just don't say anything, but uh, you know, I, don't, I don't know. Do whatever you want. I don't, people are always going to be mad. It doesn't matter what you guys do. People are always going to be mad. It doesn't, you could be this guy or you could be one of the other guys up there. Uh, it doesn't matter. People are going to be mad no matter what. It's, it's fucking Reddit, bro. Balance isn't about you. Balance is about the top 10% of the player base. 90% of the player base is just the statistic. At this point, I'm glad I skipped Wixwell. I have a double man eater. I'm unaffected. <laughs> so everybody in your clan is relying on shields on their CB comps and nobody's using unkillable or anything else. Not that I myself has any, any of these comps. Mine just the DPS. Yeah, fuck Polarium. I'm deleting account. They went too far on the Hydra buff. Hey, modern thinker. Not an airport. Bye, Felicia. See you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, that's what I said. That's funny. <laughs> I'll give him that upvote. Uh, cause somebody, cause somebody uh, in one of my other videos was just like, I'm gonna unsub, and I told them that I was like, this is not an airport. You don't have to announce your departure because they don't want you getting sacred shards and legendary tomes so easy because they want you to buy them. What are you expecting? It was a nerf aimed at low spenders. Baby, don't hurt.